Hi everyone, David Mitchell from Baby Renovations and it is the end of week three at our Kunyung Road project in Mount Eliza and it has been a huge week this week uh, with so much done. Let's get into it. So firstly, we're looking at the kitchen living area and this um, wall or the opening has been extended out. Um, so basically, the wall used to end about here both sides we've been able to extend across 450 mil without doing any structural changes that uh, lintel across the top of the or that beam across the top of the ceiling there um, has always been like that it's just a matter of um, removing some some posts underneath and um, it has made a huge difference because it's opened it right up that living space now has really joined to the lounge room here, um, allowing a lot more light into the kitchen. Um, so if we move through, um, you can see here all of the plaster has been delivered. So this is uh, all plaster. This is all plaster here delivered. We've got plaster here in the hallway. Um, so on Tuesday, it's actually Saturday now, on Tuesday we'll be plastering the entire house. Um, so if we start in the kitchen, uh, you can see here we've removed the old fireplace. Uh, that's been um, plastered over. They didn't want it anymore. They don't use it. They didn't want a gas fireplace. So um, the use of wall space is much better um, provided like that. Plus the, the new kitchen comes to about here. So um, that wall space um, really opening everything up. You can see here we've put a new frame in here. And this is basically dividing the kitchen from what will be the new pantry. Um, I'll try and um, make that look a little bit better from here. So if you remember, the kitchen actually used to be back here and we've built that wall um, uh, with the sliding cavity door there, which will go into what will be the new pantry. So um, really gorgeous, big pantry. Uh, it'll wrap around into this space. Actually, uh, that space there, I know it might be hard to see, but that tiny little space there, that used to be the pantry. Now this whole space is going to be pantry. Gorgeous stone top benches and um, obviously all of the the cabinetry is shaker style, um, you know, two pack white with gorgeous um you know, gold tapware, etc. So I uh, can't wait to see this one come to life. So we've actually uh, rewired the entire house. We have actually replaced every bit of um, water supply pipe in the house. So the feed actually came in under the floor here. Um, as you can see there, this new PEX pipe that goes throughout the entire house. Um, so no worries in the future about anything leaking, anything banging, moving, uh, water supply issues, anything like that. It's all brand new. Um, we framed this out here, this little bulkhead. It used to like go up and then have a rake um, down. So we've square set that. So once all the cabinetry goes in, that's going to look sensational with a square uh, set bulkhead. Those little things really modernize a house of this age. Um, and um, there's really not much else to show you in here other than uh, obviously we've put the um, the sliding cavity door here. Um, so if you have a dinner party and you want to unload all the dishes out of sight, out of mind, you can put them in here um, and carry on with your with your um, with your evening and um, attend to them later. So this kitchen now is basically open plan living. So it will go across here with a huge center island here. And then we're going to put a really large skylight in the roof above the kitchen living area. And as you can see from this from this side, um, by removing the wall here and on that side as well, if you look at previous videos and photos, you'll see the opening wasn't very wide here. It was only quite thin. So by removing the two ends of the walls, it's really opened it up. It's going to be such a great little family living area um, as you can see here where those plasterboards are you can see how we've um, extended the wall here just out 200 mil um, that used to be just an open little nook in there and that's the new bathroom well there's actually a toilet a separate toilet and a bathroom we'll go in there in a minute and have a look 
um, there's so much to show you. Um, so you can see here, this this used to be just a straight wall. Uh, we've actually made what is called a mudroom at the front door there. So you can see it sort of recesses back. We've put some insulation in there as well. We've actually insulated the whole house for them. Um, so there'll be like a little timber seat that goes in here. And then some VJ board with some hooks on the wall. Um, you can see there we've back blocked for the hooks. Uh, so they're nice and secure. So when the kids come in the door or you come in the door with an umbrella or a bag or anything, you can, you've got somewhere that you can chuck it at the front door and it's not in the road. So um, if we're looking at this wall, these little cavities, that's the shower niche and that's the bath niche for the bathroom inside there. Um, but this here now is um is the the main bedroom uh this used to be a hallway going through there through to the garage um let's have a look we've now made it a really big uh bedroom so this is the new main bedroom um on the right here this used to be the wardrobe and uh, as you can see uh it's now just a really large bedroom so this here is the sliding cavity door into a um, a walk-in robe, and then you continue on through into a bathroom, uh, which is the ensuite. So uh, it's hard to to show you this, but um, in this bathroom, I can't wait to show you this one because uh, it's on either side. It's a bit dark in here. On either side, there's a shower head that side. There's a shower head on this side. So two-sided shower. There'll just be like a single panel of glass either side. You'll go in and it'll be dual shower. So you can see there, a mixer there, a mixer there, and then there's a gorgeous ledge that goes across the shower. It's a huge shower. And then above in the middle of the room will be a skylight uh, for natural light because there's no windows in here. And, uh, and obviously um, we've got a gorgeous um, wall hung vanity with um, twin shaving cabinets power points are coming through into the shaving cabinets and these cabinets are actually arched so they're going to be really cool um, we've got a toilet in the ensuite as well this ensuite never existed before um, actually where i'm standing is inside the garage we actually took some of the garage the footprint of the garage and turned it into uh, a a um an ensuite and a walk-in robe so this little section here is robe so both sides we have his and hers either side and then along that wall there in the main bedroom will also be robe i uh, can't wait to show you um all of those things we've got new down lights everywhere we've got fans we've got um all the latest uh mod cons in the house we've um we've moved all the tv points so the tvs are going to get hung on the walls um, the power points have all been repositioned um, and if we go through to the next section of the house uh, obviously there is uh, a laundry so all of the laundry has been replumbed um, water points for the washing machine is going to be hidden under the bench water points for the sinker there um, so again the feed that used to come down you can see the old copper pipe there that's been replaced by the PEX pipe um, and this black cable is LED lighting and obviously TV for the kids' new rumpus room. Um, we have um, basically straightened all the walls in here, uh, packed them all out, ready for plaster. In the ceiling, uh, we've got down lights and obviously position for a fan. Uh, this is going to look absolutely stunning as well uh, obviously all of the ducting under the house for the old gas heating has been removed um, this house is being fitted with reverse cycle air conditioning throughout so hot and cold um, the full reverse cycle kit uh, so here you walk into a separate toilet uh, just an individual toilet that services the main part of the house and then if we go in this way we're walking into a main bathroom so that's the big niche there for a new bath a beautiful isabella bath uh, a huge walk-in like a it's a two-sided shower but it's a really big shower it's about a meter by uh, 900 i think and that's obviously the shower niche there i know it's hard to see 
I do apologize. Um, and on this side, we've got, again, dual bowl, wall hung, uh, vanity with uh, two big um, mirror cabinets that go into the wall. Um, we've got uh, sensor lights with LED. So this is, you know, your cables here, which are for the LEDs. All these rooms have sensors in the ceiling. So when you walk into the room at night, the LEDs come on automatically um, for that beautiful ambience at night time. Um, and if we keep moving through to here, this used to be the parents' bedroom. And this now has become the kids' uh, rumpus. And I think I've mentioned once before, um, we've redesigned this room a lot. Uh, the door used to be there and that went through to the old robe and bathroom. This now is a bedroom, so one door there, then a bedroom there, and then a bedroom here. So the three kids' bedrooms are off their own rumpus area, so it sort of has made an area for the kids separate from where the parents' living area is. Um, the kids are at an age where they're, you know, starting to watch a bit more TV. We've moved the TV points to here for the kids' room, um, you know, updated all of the um, the smoke alarms, etc. In this, this actually used to be the main bathroom, and now it's actually the little boys' room. Um, uh, it's all rewired. Um, I know it's probably hard to see again. We've put robes here, so the robes are here, ready um, to be plastered, and then um, reveals put in and new sliding doors, etc. Um, this is where. The robe used to be in this bedroom, and in this bedroom, um, I know I'm moving fairly fast, um, but the door used to be there, and this used to be the robe here. Now the door's over there, and it goes through to the back section of the house rather than this old door going through to the front section of the house. Um, this is the new bedroom robe um, that we've framed out. Again, ready for plaster. This room has... Obviously, down lights, a fan, um, uh, basically, again, all of the power points where uh, they're needed next to the bed, um, you know, and where a desk would go. Uh, and then this back this back room, if you remember, if you look at the pre previous, like the before photos, this is the old ensuite. This whole floor and the walls were all rotted completely. They had basically been destroyed uh, by water leak in the old shower so we've created um, or fixed all the flooring we've repaired and replaced most of the joists that were that were no good put all new yellow tongue flooring down as you can see here you can see it's nice and new and this is a really nice uh, back bedroom um, it's uh, it's all ready for plaster you can see here that's the big new robe that's gone in um and um again a fan and down lights and obviously um marks for power points and and the like um so yeah we have i'm so proud of my trade team we have done so much this week um yeah it the entire house has been uh replumbed all of the drainage, all of the water points throughout the entire house have been completely replaced. Um, there's no stone unturned. You can see here all of the electrical is everywhere. Uh, all of the new framing's done. Every wall has been straightened. Um, we've got a little bit of work to do on Monday. As I said, it's Saturday now. And then on Tuesday, the plasters are in and we're going to... Um, Hang all the uh, plaster, and throughout the next week, um, the house will start to look like a house again. From here on out, it gets really exciting. Um, it starts to all take shape. Once the plaster's in, then we move to waterproofing, um, and then cabinetry comes in. We start to tile and all those types of things. So i um, really excited for the clients. Um, they are over the moon. Uh, I just saw them. They just left, and... Um, their whole house is has been changed from um, a three bedroom home to a four bedroom home and much larger open plan living. They've now got a big walk in pantry um, and it's going to look amazing, all Hampton style, 
I can't wait to share this one with everyone. Uh, if you're watching the video and you want to do a project like this, I would love to meet you. I absolutely love doing projects like this with my team. The boys all love it as well. So um, please get in touch and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot.